Today, our topic is the God of restoration. There has been a thief who has stolen by deception from us the original state God hid from man. Jesus talks about him. Our Bible text this morning is taken from the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10. Isaiah chapter 61, 1 through 3. Psalms 23, verse 3. The word of God says, The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Stolen from us is the ideal God has instead we have wound up with. Almighty God is talking to us this morning. What is that thing that the enemy has stolen from you? I want to tell you a story of a man in a family, a husband and a wife. This man was very sick. He has a mental problem and he is the breadwinner of the family. The wife don't know what to do anymore. God helped the woman to start a new job and that woman had an accident. The accident was so much that the woman cannot even stand up. The two children they have were just like that. Nothing again. No going to school, no food, nothing. But there is hope. I met with them, the two children. These children started telling me their story. The story of hatred from their uncles, strife, bitterness, jealousy, perversion, sickness and disease everywhere in their home. But I have to tell them that there is joy in Jesus Christ. There is love. There is peace that they should have patience. The God will restore them. The God will restore their father. The God will restore everything that the enemy has taken away from them. There will be a time in our life when the situation is so bad. When you are hot, you don't know where to go. You don't know anything. Only what you know is where is God? You ask so many questions. Where is God? Let me tell you, there is God. He will never forsake you. He is there for you all the time. He's God of restoration. He will restore you. Whatever you have lost, whatever that is disturbing your life, whatever problem you are into now, you think that God is not there. God will restore you. Believe it. One day you will laugh. This my brother, God finally healed him from mental sickness. You know, in this life, when you have suffered a tragic sickness, some people will not accept you. But with prayers and thanksgiving and praise to Almighty God, this our brother got a job, a very beautiful one. God has restored him. From him, God restored his wife too. So whatever you are doing in your life, remember that God will restore you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. The God of restoration is the God we serve. God wants you to put the brokenness the hurt, the pain, and the anguish of your life in his hands for restoration. The psalmist says, he restored my soul. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Matthew 19, 26 says, with men, things, men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Jesus had come from the Mount of Transfiguration. That child was laying on the ground of foaming at the mount. He was having a seizure, but God healed him the child. Mark 9 23. If you could believe all things are possible to him that believe it. And he healed the child. God has the credentials to take your brokenness. He is able. God is able. He's able to deliver from the oppression of the Mediate, the Gideon, Judges 8. He's able to turn the bitter waters sweet. God is able in our life. In everything we are doing, in the condition we saw and we think that nothing will be fine again, that God of restoration will restore you. In the name of Jesus Christ, weep not. God is there for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God, for there is none like thee. You are that God in this storm. You will restore everything. Thank you, Holy God. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we have prayed. Amen.